One of the weirdest things I've ever heard came from my mom. She had a cat that went missing. She called me in tears about this cat. She goes, I'm really worried about Rocky because you know how people like to take cats and do nasty things to them. <laughs> no, I don't know that. I'm gonna have your internet shut off though. I am pretty sure you're the only person that's ever Googled cat rape. I think it's gonna come back in a few days. She thinks it's tied up in some sex dungeon, forced to wear nipple clamps. Even if you do think somebody's fiddling with your kid, don't tell anyone. That's a keeper to your selfer. What are we supposed to do? Set up a sting operation? Have Dateline bust on the door? The guy's like, I was just here to pet it. I don't even know that cat. That cat said it was 18. I'm a roofer. I was engaged. I was engaged, we broke up, she gave me the ring back. And my friends thought that was a good thing. Oh, you got the ring back. That's exciting. You got the ring. Well, yeah, I get to go back to Jared now. Uh, I didn't even know that commercial had a sequel. Everybody seems so happy in part one. He went to Jared! And in part two, it's just he's inquiring about Jared's refund policy. <laughs> I took it hard. I don't know if anybody's ever been through a bad breakup. I took it hard, like a normal person would. I took it hard. I cried. People make fun of you for crying. Did you cry like a baby? No, I didn't. Babies don't have the lung capacity to cry like I cried. I cried like a grown man. I scream cried. Anybody ever been so hurt they she broke up with me in her car, I immediately started crying, and then my body's like, start making noises, that'll get her back. <laughs> the only time you're supposed to scream cry is if you're cradling a dead body, pumping your fist at the sky, and then Steven Seagal fixes things. <laughs> you're not supposed to do it in a Jeep two feet from somebody, it freaks them out quite a bunch. <laughs> I cried in the shower. That's weird, because the shower pumps water onto your face. Tears are made of water. There was a weird moment halfway in where I was like, Mer, am I even doing this anymore? Is this uh, but now I'm single, this happens. I've been single for a little while now, and I'm not gonna brag, uh, I've kissed a couple girls. It's pretty interesting. Here's the deal about kissing people. Come on, we'll talk about it. Here's the weird part. You don't know how people kiss. Sometimes you kiss, sometimes you kiss somebody and you're like, this is, this is amazing. I love kissing you. And then sometimes you're like, I want you to get your face away from my face. <laughs> Remove your face from my face. You ever been kissed? So, you ever had one of these where they kiss and then they shove their neck muscle into it? They just push their face up against. Mm. It was weird. I didn't know. What to, I just started shoving back because I didn't want to lose. I was like, mm, mm. And now we're just pressed. Uh, uh, uh. Our teeth touched. Sort of. Dink, dink. Our teeth touched. What? I'm in your mouth now. This is less of a kiss and more of how I eat my sandwiches. Dink, dink. Dink, dink. I gotta go visit my family. I had to see my grandma. My mom told me that the other day. She goes, you need to go see your grandma. You know she's not gonna be around very much longer. And I go, does grandma know that's how you drum up visitors? <laughs> a little negative, if you ask me. It's gonna be weird when I show up. And she's like, well, what brought you here? Clock's a ticking, Nana. <laughs> she just thought I'd come over and pick out some stuff I like. <laughs> What's the range on this cordless? My cousin got a car accident, flipped a truck, thrown from the truck, and is somehow in the accident, his thing, ah, his thing popped. The thing popped. I didn't even know it was poppable, to be honest with you. I'm, gonna, I'm not lying. I've got one of them, and I've done a lot of things to it. Uh, between the ages of 12 and 15, I was running a regular test facility down here. Never came close to popping it. How is that not the slogan for wear your seatbelt? I mean, click it or ticket rhymes, sure, but click it or your penis will explode. Straight to the point. I hit a deer with my car. Ruined a deer. You ever hit a deer? You ever seen a deer post-hit? Ugly. They don't look pretty. It looked like my car didn't just want to kill it. It wanted to send a message to the other deer. You don't mess with the Corolla. A girl with me, I had a girl with me when we hit it. Luckily I had a girl with me because as we hit it, she goes, DEER! Where? I can't see it because there's a deer in my windshield. Bunch of deer up in here right now. I can't even believe that we can have babies, that we can make people. Can you believe that we can make people? All of you, you can just make... Now! You can make them now if you want. This is not hard. You can accidentally make people. Ask my sister. She was like, pop, pop, people, people. <laughs> it's just how it happens. It's so easy to make people. It looks difficult, but it's not at all. Most things in life you can only do on purpose. But you can, you can accidentally create human life. But if you want to build a shed, you have to really want to build a shed. No one's ever called you after a long weekend and been like, I think I built a shed last night. <laughs> it felt really
really good and I didn't want to stop. I am not ready for a shed right now. It's crazy. Everyone's made the same, but we all come out different. And when we come out the same, like twins, it freaks people out. They look exactly alike. Ah! But they're all different, you make the same. To make people, you just put it in there, move it around for a little while, people. I know I've simplified it quite a bit, but I, put it in there, people. Here's the deal, when you all come out different, nobody, I, I mean, that's weird to me. That's weird. If you're making muffins, and you put the pan in the oven, and then you pulled the pan out, and one muffin was blueberry, and one was Adolf Hitler, you would be like, something's wrong with the way we make muffins. But nobody's like, well, whatever, muffins. Women got it bad when you make people, I don't want to bring it to you, but when you make people, it's terrible. I don't like it. They grow inside you, and then when they get giant, you shove them out of your body. Uh, that's ridiculous. That's why wait till they're giant? They're a little bitty at the beginning. Why can't you be like, bloop, and then put them over here for a little while? <laughs> bloop, bloop, twins. I don't care. I'm getting wasted. <laughs> You're going to be some good people someday. Sometimes they grow up to be people. Sometimes they grow up to be weird people. Sometimes they grow up to be strippers. That happens. I've been to the places that they work. Uh, I went to a strip club one time, a really bad one. Well, there's a really unqualified stripper working. I don't know if you've ever seen an unqualified stripper, but it's the, she could dance just ugly was the problem. Not even a normal ugly where you see her and you're like a day ruiner. You know what I mean? Where you just like just. I thought I was gonna call the Better Business Bureau on the club. I'm like, there's gotta be some, you're not allowed to smoke inside, but that's okay. How about you smoke where you want and we keep her 15 feet from the entrance? I don't know what kind of law that is. It's never good when a stripper goes, what do you mean to take off next? And you're like, my glasses? All right, that's it for you guys. Thank you very much. Boom, 300.